Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video kind of updating the last video I did on this subject, which is how many toys Arlo has. It's kind of a lot, and I will tell you how many. And on and on we'll go. including um, the tennis ball that he has outside or the um, we have a chuck it that we have outside so this isn't including either of those he has six tennis balls three tugs um, one rope four antlers three filled bones one Benny bone one hard toy seven like random toys that I couldn't figure out where they would go 10 nature themed stuffed toys, 18 food toys that have faces on them, and 4 food toys without faces. <laughs> he just has a lot of toys. I'm gonna go through them by category and just show you guys what he has. Um, I am gonna show you guys the stuff I showed you in the last video, but I'll just be more brief about it. Um, just so that you guys know like what we've gotten rid of and stuff. Um, and while I'm doing that, again, we're going to be continuing the theme. I just moved in here into the new house um, because of the whole coronavirus thing. Um, my parents live in this house and I originally was going to be living in my dorm, but that's not happening anymore. So um, I'm going to make a box of toys to keep in my room. And then this bag will be for toys that I am taking back to college next year and I would like to put in, in storage. And then this box will be my switch out toys. So I'm going to have two boxes in here that I will switch out every once in a while to just keep him entertained. Okay, so um, we are going to start with the um, pile of like outdoor or like together toys that I have. Um, so including that one that I have, the two that I have outside, I have five in here. So I am going to keep probably one in this bucket, and then one in the other bucket. One will go to college, and one will go in Toby's bucket at college. So that's two different buckets. And then I will take this one and keep it in my bin over here. I guess I didn't even count this one, but I have another filled bone set aside just in case these three toys this one um we definitely don't use it as much as we used to but i think i need to have like some toys like outside like in the outside area and i'm thinking that this one should definitely go out there right eye now and then this one i'm not sure what i want to do with these two tugs so hmm. Cause the thing is, is like, I want to have them available inside, but I also like want them to be outside. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to hang them up somewhere, not in his bucket. And then starting with the random toys next, we do have this Christmas tree toy that Charlie got for Arlo for Christmas this past year. I think I'm going to take this one to college because obviously we will not be here during Christmas, so I'm going to put that one in here. And then next on our random toys, we've got Batman. Arlo loves Batman. I think I'm going to put him in our second bucket because our first bucket, this one, is probably gonna be more of like the stuff that he really likes, like all the time. And this one's gonna be more of like a switch it out every couple of days and have it out for like two or three days. Um, more, more of that kind of thing. Moving on with our other random toys, we've got this pull apart monster guy. Um, so his limbs come out, his legs do, his tail, everything comes out. He is super cute. I think we are going to put him in our main bucket because I think that he's, he's definitely a favorite. Um, he also really likes this little yellow ball. It's just cloth and it squeaks, so we're going to keep that in our main bucket as well. And then little Mr. Gnome guy, he's kind of fun. Um, I think 
We're probably going to end up keeping um, the counterpart to this toy um, in this bucket. So I'm probably going to keep this guy in the other bucket. And then this is a little sandal, is what it is. Basically, it's a little wooden sandal. It goes with our sushi set, but this isn't food, so I kept it in like the random pile. It's crinkly on the top, and then it's a big squeaker <coughs> on the middle. Oof. I think it's really cute. It looks like wood. Um, but it goes with our sushi set, so I think I might keep it in here, just because I think this is a toy to play with a lot. But let me go check to see how much legs it. I think we are actually going to keep this to the side and see what we're going to do with it later. Um, because he wasn't a... He's not that big of a fan of it, so I think we're just going to keep it to the side and see. Because I'm not sure. We might have these two buckets full. Um, next up, let's do this rope toy. He really likes to have it around. Um, but Toby also likes it, so I'm not sure. Not sure if it'll go in our cottage bin or not. Um, I do like having at least one rope toy out, although this is the only rope toy we own now. So let's see. We are gonna put this one in our college bin. Just have him uh, be ready for Toby when they get back. Um, now for our assortment of antlers. We have several. This is our current antler squad. They've all gotten shorter, so eventually I do need to order more, but this is the one that Charlie got him for Christmas. It's about the size of our other ones now. So these are all of our antlers. This is our more sharp one. I need to dull this edge down a little bit to make sure it doesn't cut him. But that's what that one looks like. And then this is another smaller one we got in a pack. And then this is the one that we got for Christmas. So yeah, and then this is our last one. It's been kind of, you know, broken up a little bit, but that's that one. So I think I'm going to put one of these in like each space. So I think we're gonna keep the one that he got for Christmas in here. And then I think we're gonna put this one in here. And these two will be safe to go back to college. Arlo loves his Benny Bone. He gets it out all the time. I think this one I'm going to keep in his um, bin for in his room. So these bones, we got all of these from Walgreens. Um, when I was getting medications for things, they're like little beef bones. I'm sure they're very synthetic. And then there's like peanut butter flavored stuff on the inside of them. He loves them. Um, so these are the three ones we have now. This one we've definitely done some work on. I think this is the one that I had in like the little bin for Toby. So I think I'm going to keep that one in that bin. And then put one of these in each of the other ones. So I'll put the more filled one in the, that one. The last hard toy that we have is his little bully make hammer. Um, he doesn't get this out very often. But since we put the Benny Bone in there, I think I'm going to put this one in here so that he has another hard toy option in this bin. And then we will go into our nature-themed toys. So we did get one of these sloth guys from work. So I got basically almost every toy that we have at work. Um, the last time that I was there, I was like, okay, we're going to be in quarantine for a while. He's not going to have many other dogs. I'm just going to splurge get him some toys from work. So that's what we did. And this is the sloth boy. He's got a squeaker in him. Um, we have not tried him yet. He's very cute, so I'm going to decide what to do with him. I'm not, not sure. This is Ross the dinosaur. Got him from work a while ago. He was definitely in the last video that I did of this. Um, this is the little mushroom that Arlo got when he was a baby, so we're going to keep that in his favorite toy bin because he pulls him out all the time, so I'm going to keep him in here. This butterfly is one of Arlo's favorite toys. He's very chintzy. We're going to keep him in the favorites. So this little cactus guy, the reason that I'm a fan of him is because he is... Um, from BarkBox, obviously, and then also he is like the three-part toy. So he's got this 
outer layer and then on the inside there is um, another layer of like a stuffed toy and then on the full inside there is a like spiky ball guy so that's what he looks like on the inside it's the consuela the cactus one and it is um, squeaky and he's got this little crinkly flower on the top so I am not sure I have not tried this toy with Arlo yet, so I'm not really sure where to put it yet. Just like all the other freaking toys I've messed with. And this is Arlo's little rainbow guy. He's very cute as well. He just got him as a matching toy. Um, Charlie's parents got a puppy named Chelsea. And we got one of these for Arlo and one of these for Chelsea. So this is our flamingo. She had to be washed a few times so she's not as soft and fluffy as she was before. But this is our flamingo. She is very pretty. This is an octopus that squeaks up here. She's very cool. I love the texture of her little tentacles. So she's fun as well. And then we've got a parrot. These were all the animals that I liked. There were some animals in there that I didn't like that I didn't buy. Um, because they were not as, I don't know, I just didn't like them as much. But this guy squeaks too. And then this teeny little beer. I gotta get one of these for Charlie's parents puppy. Um, but it's very cute and little. I think this one will definitely be one of Arlo's favorites because he is so little and Arlo has such a smaller mouth. And he likes to squeak smaller things like that ball. So I think I'm going to put him in the favorites bin as well. So that's kind of like all the nature toys. Um, the only one I really am like 100% sure on is like the bear. But he does seem to like the parrot. So I think I'm going to keep the parrot in the favorites bin. Um, the octopus, he was having a really hard time getting his mouth around. So I think we're going to put that in the other bin with Batman and the gnome guy. I was thinking of saving this one for college. I'm not really sure why I want to do that. Maybe he'll like her. Maybe he should go in his bin, his main bin. This guy's pretty cool, but I don't think he'll like him that much. I think he should go in there. The flamingo, he was not the biggest fan of when we were at um, Charlie's. So I think I'm gonna put him in the college thing to be ready when we go back to college. He really loves the rainbow. I think we're gonna keep the rainbow in the main bin. And then the other two that we have left to decide, I think it's more gonna depend on space than anything. <sighs> Next we have our food themed toys. Our first one is um, this little box from BarkBox. It's the Andy's dumplings. So they've got three different faces. I think they're really cute. I love these guys. And he loves them as well. These are one of his favorite toys. So I think we're gonna keep these in his favorite box. <laughs> now, these are the ones that we got at Five Below, which are almost an identical toy. They you pull them out and they're crinkly. The, um, the bad thing about these guys is the little plastic comes out and I really don't like that. So I'm gonna put these in his like sometimes box so that he sometimes has access to them, um, but not all the time. These ones, the bark box ones, seem to be like tougher and better quality. So I do want him to be able to play with those. And then the other ones can be like a sometimes toy. This is one that we got him when we were at Charlie's for a few months. It's a little ice cream with a face. It's got crinklies on the top and then a squeaker in the middle. I think again this one is going to depend on space because it does have the crinkly in the top which is nice and the squeaker plus it's a little bit smaller good for his mouth but again space the avocado toast is probably going to end up going to college basically what happened is all the crinkly stuff got moved to like the middle and so he doesn't really play with it as much anymore but it's still like nice to have because it's really cute so i think we're going to take it to college the cabbage with a face or cabbage cauliflower is definitely another um, college toy because we do not use it as much. Um, it's got a harder squeaker. It's more difficult to squeak and the leaves fall apart really easily. So I think that one's gonna be a college one. The licorice is really nice. It's crinkly, squeaky, 
It's got the ropes. I think this one is going to go in his favorite spin. We've also got our little fish taco guy. He's really funny. So um, he's got a tube squeaker on the inside that goes womp womp. So I think we're going to put him in the um, sometimes bin. Now this big guy is a Bloody Mary. Um, and Arlo will pull him out and drag him out sometimes, um, but not a lot. So I think I'm going to put him in the college bag for now. Now this one is a little coffee cup and it's the same style as the um, other dumplings that are crinkly in the middle. There's like a hole in the top and then the little donuts come out and they're crinkly. So the nice part about this is that these ones don't really have that easy of a seam to break. So I think that these ones are pretty safe for us to put in his all the time um, bin. We also have this little plate of cookies. There's little Velcro cookies that go on the plate and then they squeak. And the plate is a big squeaker with a little crinkly around it. So this one is definitely going to stay in his main bin. He plays with this a lot when he has access to it. And it's also by BarkBox, which means that it's a good quality and doesn't usually fall apart. Our taco from Charlie a couple years ago, I think it was last year. Um, he's not the biggest fan of this toy. He will play with it when he has access to it. Um, if he doesn't really have any other toys to mess with. Um, but not all the time, just the other ones are more crinkly and stuff, and they squeak more. So I think we're going to take this one to college as well. This donut guy is really cute. He does not pull this out as often, though. Um, we just got this along with the, this guy um, at Charlie's. A big crinkly. He's got some squeakers in there somewhere. I don't know where they are. But um, maybe it's not squeaky. I don't know. But it's got a cute little face and it's pretty big. He does not pull this out too often. So I'm not really sure about this one just yet either. This is a sushi. He is a big fan of this sushi as well as the other one. These two guys do get played with quite a bit. The tube, tube squeaker in here is really nice. Plus the crinkle. He loves pulling this one out. So I think this one is definitely going to go in his um, all the time bin. This one I'm not quite sure about yet. So I think I've made a decision that the sloth is going to go in his all-the-time bin to hopefully get him to play with it a little bit more. He can definitely pick up on those arms and drag this around, so I would think that he would play with this a little more. Let's put it in there, and we'll test it out for a little bit and see if it works. This is a little apple guy. He is very cute. I like him, but um, he is not played with very often. I think we are going to send him to college. This little carrot guy, um, kind of a similar story, except... He is nice and small and good to go in our second bin as like a smaller toy that has a squeaker in it. So I'm going to put him in there. This toy is very special to me. Um, this was the second toy Arlo ever got. He got it, um, well I got it on Christmas, um, of like a, a little bit before I got him. And I got it with like a hot cocoa set and a mug that said I hurt my dog and then this mug says I hurt my human. And just having a couple pictures of like little baby him with this mug made me really happy. Um, I think we are going to put this in our sometimes bin because he, he does still sometimes take this out. It's definitely very durable. He's never been able to break anything off of it. Um, but it's still kind of iffy sometimes. So I think I'm going to keep this in this bin because obviously I want to be careful with it. Our um, burrito and hot sauce. Um, are not used very often. He does not pull these out too often, but I do want to keep one of these style toys in there So I think our ranch dressing is gonna win out and go in this everyday bin And I think these two are probably gonna go to college these guys It's always difficult to choose because he loves these the little baguette is adorable the um, bag is really crinkly he loves playing with that and then of course the baguette is very cute and squeaky and loud, so I think I'm going to put this one in our everyday. And then the caramel squeaky guy I think is going to go in our sometimes bin. I think I've decided that the big donut is going to go in our college bin. I think it'll he'll play with it a lot more when Toby is there. This would be a good supervised toy for them. I think I've decided that this guy should go in our sometimes bin as well. Sushi, I think, is also going to go in the sometimes bin, as well as uh, our Ross the Dinosaur. And with that, I believe all of our toys are sorted. So we have our sometimes bin with a bunch of different toys in there. 
selections of bones and antlers and harder stuff as well as smaller toys that squeak and crinkle and then larger toys that do the same thing and then toys that are inside of each other, toys you can rip apart, all those options. This one has a variety of those options as well but only for sometimes so that he does get a good variety. There we go. So that's kind of it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I know that these videos are not as exciting, but I do want to put out some kind of content for you guys. Um, I was going to make a video today just asking you guys what did you what you wanted to see, but I figured that was kind of boring. So um, I'm just going to ask it in this video. I want to know what you guys want to see in on my channel. Like what um, what videos do you want me to put out? What are you wanting to know about me or Arlo or my boyfriend or Michaela? or Toby, what are you wanting to see from us? Like, what vlogs do you want us to do? Do you want us to go to Walmart? Do you want to go to Target or the mall? You know, what do you want us to do? Um, leave it in the comments down below or send me an email at the email address in the description and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in whatever we make next. Bye. Till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And on and on